Okay. Okay. Okay, bud. Don't worry. Okay, now the recording is on. All right, I'll play it through a couple of times at a moderate speed and then we'll launch into it. And this is down the back lane? Down the back lane. Okay. It's a it's a double jig. Now let's see. I guess we'll just get started. Um, starts on whatever A. <laughs> Has everybody got that so far? Or should I just break it up measure by measure? All right, I don't see thumbs down. Okay, so the first part again. <laughs> So 
that's the third measure. I'm going to go on to the fourth. so good is that too fast I'll slow it down that's the fourth measure I'll go back I'll call out the measures first measure second measure third measure doing I'm having a little difficulty in that turnaround where you're coming down that thing you that connecting thing I've got the beginning part but well, the first measure being well the second measure is that where you're having trouble just after that oh uh, C C A A. But is that C a natural or a sharp? Natural. Okay, that's what I thought. Probably because I'm throwing a few cuts in. I'll I'll pull, I'll try to leave the cuts out because it's not quite as clear sounding, or maybe I'll play it on the concertina in a little bit. again not quite uh, the first measure is and this is so it's a start instead of the a So the fifth measure, let's see again, is sixth measure is the uh, fifth and sixth together. couple measures.
Okay. So we go slowly through the A part and see how we do. I think doing it a few times would, a few more times would be good. Okay. For me. Yeah, I'm still struggling with the third measure, uh, the third and the fourth, but mostly the third. Okay. Is well, I'll go over the third and fourth measure. I mean, from the beginning wouldn't hurt either. Okay. four measures. measures make more sense if you hear the first four measures with it. So I'm just going to play the A part slowly a bunch of times and then you guys stop me for things that you can't hear. Shall I go through that a few more times or go on to the B part? Okay, no. All right, I guess I'll go on to the B part. Sorry. first measure.
those two measures together. measure of the B part, same as the first, and the next measure is I'm doing a roll on that G, but you know, you don't have to. So the third and fourth measure of the B part. So the first four measures. Oops, sorry. measures of the tune. The first one is a, uh, hold on a second. So the, the, oh, knock it off. Is the fifth uh, measure of the B part. And then the sixth one is, so we've got Everybody okay with that? Okay. Then the last couple of measures of the tune. Wait. Okay. That's a little tricky. C and then E C A. I think that's right. Hold on. measure last two measures
last four measures of the tune. <laughs> Nice for you just to play it like three times through because I'm yeah. feeling 
I'm starting to get the flow of. Is that just let me make sure that last I've got that last phrase right. So Starting a, on F sharp. And then you repeat that. I it up one of the times I was playing it. It's, okay. No, it's a kind of a tricky tune. It took me a while before I got it, I think, when I first learned it. Yeah. All I right. Like Three times through. <laughs> was just doing harmony. No, he, was, he wants to play. He was yanking on the chair, the, the nice wing back chair. He was going rip, 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 when I yelled at him. So uh, any questions on the tune? What's the name one more time? Down the back lane. It's, kind of, it's, it's an old piping tune, but it sounds good on fiddle. Yeah, I like it. At some point, it will sound good on concertina. <laughs> or concertinas, Becky and me both. All right. And Fran. Oh, yeah. The right? triple concertinas.
it's a, it's a fairly easy tune on concertina. It's only got one sharp. Well, for the CG concertinas like Becky and I play, um, easier than some of the other tunes. So we'll we'll send out a recording as well as some dots, and you guys can work on it. Hey guys, just uh, I'm sure you'd love to know election news. Yes. They're tied to their dead heat in Georgia. Dead heat. They're tied. You mean like uh, five million and one to five million and one or whatever it is? Within uh, three thousand votes. That's not a dead heat. And it's he's going to go zoom in past because all the Atlanta votes still are coming in the yeah. mail mail ins. Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, if some of you are. <laughs> the other kind? <laughs> we got to leave politics out of this. <laughs> no, I, I'm not. I don't know by, <laughs> yeah, I just, by yeah. all our shirts, right? We all. <laughs> it could be a calendar, a, a, you know, some kind of a advertisement for, I don't know, some the clothing. Republican Party, or, right. Oh, oh Bean. Oh. <laughs> I need to buy something plaid. I don't own anything plaid. <laughs> We can have a new thing. Dima shops at L.L. Bean. That's you poor right. underprivileged girl, Ashley. What? You poor underprivileged girl. Don't you I don't know. Know. I grew up in Chicago. All right. Well, I can Tim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, you know, you Tim, you're looking like a man of mystery here. You're all in shadow. You can't really see your face. In gray tones. Brian, I think it's interesting that that tune feels D, but there's not a C sharp in the whole thing. So if somebody's accompanying it, you're going to have a lot of G chords or something else, but there's not a C sharp. Yeah, in it's, uh, yeah, it's don't. In. It's what? I think it's D mixolydian. Is that right, Joe? If it's um, maybe Probably. I think it's just in plain old B flat. <laughs> that no, not B's wing. We're talking about uh, down the back <laughs> lane. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I thought that was yeah, I think it's in. I think it's, it's G. Right? I, I think know. it's in G. But Does it end up on a G note? We're talking about down the back lane. Well, right. It's in D. Is it? Okay. Well, well it's got a. Uh... Right. It just, uh, it's Mixolydian, D Mixolydian, I think. Yeah. Weird. I mean, it ends on G for me, that's where I want to resolve it to G, but but it, maybe it is in D Mixolydian. I mean, I'm not sure, like, what makes it one or the other. I don't know. I've heard that you can even, like, it can even be a little subjective, depending on how you hear well, it and want to yeah. play it. Yeah, and maybe, right. maybe somebody it, wants to put C sharps in it. I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, I, I, it does end on a kind of a weird kind of a hanging that, that you end up on a G and kind of rolling on that G. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, it feels unresolved a little bit. I mean, that's, that's, and that's ending on a G. <laughs> but. Yeah, but it's. It, it's the last note of that measure, but if you went to the beginning of the next measure, it would be, it's, it's like a D. I mean, not the note, but it's a... Anyway. 
it's interesting. D mixed it's like a two and G major relate to each other, so it's yeah. like dope. Same key signature, different sound. It just feels like an Irish, like that. It's got an Irish sound to it, and maybe what I'm what I call an Irish sound just means that it's in Mixolydian. You know. Um, I think the flat when it sounds it's relative sort of major, but it's got a flat seven instead of a sharp seven is kind of. Um, I mean, it's not. It's not the only mode that has a flat seven, but like. Um, one that's major until you get to there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it mixolydian? I think that's like on the white keys of a piano. If you go, if you start on G, it's just, you feel like you're in a major scale until you get to that F, which is a flat seven. If you're right. looking at a piano, I think that's mixolydian. I hear what you're saying because it definitely doesn't feel like a full-on bright major. There's something a little, little, just a notch down from that going on. So I guess that probably is the mixolydian that I'm. Hearing. Yeah, without having that leading tone of the 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 C sharp that resolves to the D, you don't get. Start on G on the piano. It's all white keys. Yes. Right. Right. Sounds very but, bright. Yeah. I was just thinking, um, what is the, what's the G jig? Um, Jim Wards is an, another one of those common tunes that seems like it resolves to the D note, but it's in G, right? That's definitely G, yeah. But it seems like you would like, you end up, like the melody seems like it, you end up on D. Maybe I'm just, let me go on mute and work that through for a second. Jim Wars, isn't that Patsy Geary's? Yes, and I thought I was muted. Sorry, I can't remember how Jim Wars starts. <laughs> I know, and I've, I just the B part though, because like. So it ends on a D note, but it's in the key of G, right? So I don't know if that, it might be just that's the way the tune goes and it's not in a Mixolydian mode. It's just one of those weird Irishy things that doesn't defies categorization or something. I don't know. Yeah, I just think they, unlike a classical tradition, if yeah. it were classical music, they would, after that last thing, they would go back to a G chord or a G note. You know, they would end right. up G, but because it's Irish, it's like, yeah, we got that far. It's good enough. <laughs> it really like it just, centers around that D, the Jim Ward. So I would say it was in G. You'd say, you'd say Jim Ward's is in D? I would say it's in D Mixolydian, yeah. Wow, okay. Because it's centering around that D. But if I am, if I'm accompanying it, I would, I would I'd say it's like, like, G major. I mean, I would accompany it as if it's in G major, you know? Yeah, it's all the same. Like the actual key signature has the same notes as G major. So. Yeah, but it, Jim Ward's has that C natural too, but it does feel like it resolves. The tonic is a G. But I think some of these tunes, like, maybe are old enough, maybe not Jim Ward's, but some of these other ones, like, Fran, well, I forgot this one already, um, but they it, they come don't necessarily come out of the tradition of Western standard chords. Yeah, for sure. Right, right. 
Yeah. You know, I played with a, a guy that was uh, just a phenomenal, uh, f like violin player, and he and he was just kind of like he was one of these guys that like definitely give you um, feelings of inferiority, where he would just be kind of like casually like just go doo -doo 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 -doo, like just out of nervous energy and just do these amazing things, and you're like, oh my god. But he really wanted to learn Irish music, and we were playing, and then he was. He was like, he just all of a sudden, he stops. He's like, oh my God. He goes, you would never, ever do that in classic, like, theory. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I think it was something like Jimmy Wards or something. He goes, you just wouldn't do that. You wouldn't go there and do that. I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, what do you mean you wouldn't do that? He's like, well, it's just not the way that it works. That's not the way the harmony works. And I don't, I couldn't quite figure exactly what his point was, but he was astounded at the turn the tune had made and was just sort of like, wow, I would never have thought of that. Introducing like, the Patty okay. music. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Just flips it. <laughs> just, flips it. Yeah, major and minor. It's like at a whim, you know? Yeah. But it's fun. So I, I, I totally flunked music theory. So does that make me a natural Irish musician? Is that what you're trying to say, Joe? I think it, it does. does. Yes. Uh, start. <laughs> I'm that that musician that abs I cannot stand music theory. It's always been my least favorite thing, and somehow became a music teacher. I just can't. I hate it. I hate uh -huh. it so much. <laughs> and I'm married to a music teacher. Depends on <laughs> how you go <laughs> learning it. I learned one four five. You know the chord progression from guitar, which I picked up when I was a teenager. And later I learned the music theory. Oh, you're playing the one four five chords. Well. Yeah, if you play in C, it's C, F, and G. And if you play in G, it's G, C, and D. Oh, and then you... So I think if you teach the theory in relation to actual music, it probably makes more sense than trying to get somebody to memorize the circle of fifths. Yes. That approach... The circle of fifths would mean nothing in Irish music. It's, it wouldn't be helpful to know, really, to know the circle of fifths in Irish music. It's just kind of, it's not a useful tool, but, but essential in other kinds of music, you know? Well, it also depends on when you get into accompaniment, like fiddlers don't necessarily learn chords or even no keys. No offense meant, but I've heard that said many times in our sessions. I don't know what key it is. I don't know what chords are. But if you are doing anything where you're dealing with chords, then knowing about at least some of the progressions helps. Yeah. But you know, whatever, the music's supposed to bring you joy, right? So don't let any theory get in the way of that. Okay? I was going to say the topic of music theory does not bring me joy. <laughs> then move on! <laughs> well, we can, uh, on that note, we can uh, get started Ooh. on the... Uh, the slow session, if everybody's ready. Sure. Okay. Did we all say thank you to Fran? I thought that was well taught. That was very nice. Thank thank you, Fran. Fran. Very much. Yeah, thank you, Fran. I hope you like the tune, though. I like it a lot. I like it, yeah. It's very good. Okay. Uh, James. Eric, you can play it on your pipes. Oops. It would it would be good on the pipes, wouldn't play it? Your pipes. Right. Put yeah. that on your pipes and play it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, James, yeah, you're up up at the top of the list. If you got one for us. All right. Um, I did. I I was learning Morrison's this week. So, and I have a question at the end. If mine afterwards, if you hear, there's. <clears throat> But I just got one off the session, um, and at the very end, there's a C sharp. Th speaking of theory, and I don't know it. It sounds weird to me, but I haven't like looked up a bunch of recordings, so I'm not sure. So you guys, let me know if you prefer a different thing at the end, okay? Sure. Yep. And let's do it. Sounds good. Sorry, let me restart. That's what I want to do. Sorry. 
natural at the end where you were talking about got it yeah I, I, people I do it with a c sharp do people do it okay i've heard it before with the c sharp i don't, know. I don't like it i don't like the c sharps <laughs> so i'm gonna do the i'm gonna do the c natural maybe so james a real quick question were you going up on the second part um going up to the B instead of the A? Instead of an A, yeah. I heard, I think maybe Kevin Burke did it that way on some video somewhere. Don't imitate him. He's not that good. <laughs> but yeah, it was written as an A. Yeah. I guess it's one of those tunes, maybe. I don't think I, I'm not sure I've ever heard it go up to a B before. Uh, Fran, have you? No, I haven't. Doesn't mean that people don't do it. Um, no, it sounded okay. It just yeah, took me by surprise. It's not typically what you hear. Um, and remember, the stuff on the session, you know, uh, if you pull the first tune off, sometimes that was done 15, 18 years ago, and people weren't very, some of them weren't very good at transcribing, and some still aren't. Uh, and they, you know, mistakes were made, things can happen. You don't know until you listen to recordings, I guess. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it sounded good. Yeah, you might want to uh, listen to the Bathy Band version of that tune. That's a a good one. One of the more popular recordings of it out there. But there's lot there's lots of recordings of it. I'm sure. Probably about twenty thousand. Yeah. It's a popular tune. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Becky, you got one for us? Talking about theory before, I have a friend that teaches at uh, Wayne State. She says she flunks half her students. <laughs> That's pretty depressing. <laughs> that is. Well, it's hard and it's a nightmare. You know, it's a hard, it's a really hard class. Theory is really hard, you know, so. Um, but yeah, she said she flunks half the class. They think it's an easy class and it's really hard, you know, everything that you got to learn. So, so I was going to do try uh, the rose and the heather. So, 
Okay. We'll try it. <laughs> stop right there. <laughs> I'm kind of messing up there. Good job though, Becky. Mm -hmm. You're coming along on it. Yeah, there's a lot of tricky little runs in that tune. That sounds good. It's a great tune. Yeah. I lost track where I was, so. Uh, Joe, you're up next. I'm going to Let's try um, the battering ram, uh, the jig in G. Thank you. 
sounds so good on that thing. Oh, thanks. A nice ride. Yeah, that sounds really sweet. I like it. Okay. Good tune. Yeah, yeah. Janet, it's your turn. Man, I guess I should unmute. Um, I thought I'd try doing Queen Gifted a little bit better. If I can. Uh, oh, your your uh, humming noise is gone in your microphone. Yes, I brought my good mic. I I hadn't hooked up the external mic before. Now gotcha. I have. That's gotcha. why I dropped out for a while because then I plug it in and it takes a while for everything to work. But anyway. Uh, gotcha. I think I'll do that Charlie Lennon tune. See if I can do it a little bit better than I did last time. The uh, the handsome young maiden. Okay. I really want this one into. Uh, the common repertoire. I mean, I saw Fran's fiddle moving a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to change my, I'm going to put on gallery view so I can see everything. What, one thing, Janet, you are a little bit quiet. Uh, um, even though me, the, uh, the, the, uh. Is this a bit better? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. You can't gain yeah. on the mic unless it did. There you go. Uh, tilt it down a little bit. It's in A. Okay. And this is when I sent the dots out, I think. Um, it might not have gone. If somebody didn't get it, contact Eric. <laughs> yes. Didn't I send it to you? Uh, I think you did. Yes. Yes. I sent it to everybody who I had an email for who I remembered who was on the list. So okay. If you missed somebody, my apologies. I mean, just ask Eric. I will. Eric. There were a lot of things I forgot to send out last week. So I think this is a Charlie Lennon tune. Fran, is that right? Do you know? Is that? I think it is. Anyway. Okay. So it's an A. It's just a sweet reel, and we can we can do it slow. That's that is a great tune. I saw more bows moving this time. Was everybody air bowing or were some people actually playing it? I was playing it. I was trying to play along. A little too fast I, for a slow I set. I tried it out on Constantina, no. and I have to say those top notes for me. The G those are not ones I'm used to playing on concertina. So I'm gonna help. Yep. A is not the easiest the, key up there for me. The A and the B, those, the B note, the right. high B. The key of A is what I think with the G sharp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, key of A is hard for concertina. Yes, 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 there we go. But I, I play it in A, but um, she says they usually don't play a lot of A's in Ireland. 
you know, yeah. with the concertina. Hey, Pat. Pat is easier. I'm sorry, Pat what? Pat is easier. See, on concertina. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, remember, you're always talking Anglo concertina on English. Yes, exactly. It's, it's fine. It yeah. falls under the fingers just really nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, Janet, last, last week, did you send out a, the notation or was it just a video of that song? I sent out the, the a PDF with a notation. The PDF. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Oh, I, I need to send it out. Okay. I think. Trying to put I don't know. Here. Let's see I just I got a set thing version off the session, but then I modified it to try and match what Caitlin well, was playing. Oh, okay. Um, which you know the set that Caitlin Warblow's thing, the uh, Mario's session, now is really competing with what we're doing in time, but. You can always go and watch it later because it's recorded. Um, but she is rock solid. I should say they are rock solid in the beat. It's a really nice one to practice along with because she just keeps. Well, and it's on YouTube, so you can change it around. Right, right. And also, um, she she puts the titles of the tunes and the key that they're in at the bottom of the uh, feed. So there's no yeah. question. <laughs> and she's she has been known occasionally to they they created the titles ahead of time and then she says she'll hit the third tune in the set and she'll say, Oh, I played the wrong tune there. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't gone back to see if they did correct the titles, but anyway. Anyway. I need to start uh loading these recordings of these up to YouTube and then it would be easier to share them. I put the PDF in the chat. Hopefully everyone can get it. Okay. If you didn't have it. Oh, I don't... I see a message from Janet. I don't see a message from you, Ashley. Did I miss it? Well, actually, just mine is from quite a while back. Ashley's is now. I did not know you could put a file into the chat. Oh, that's marvelous. I love it. You can if you, yeah, there's certain settings you have to have in there, like in that when the meeting was created, but yeah. But there. Um, you don't see John, it here? You just, John, are you working on a device where you can just look at the chat and pull that transcription off? You're muted. I, I said I'm looking at it right now. Okay, uh, Ashley, it's your turn. If you got, um, oh, you're you're busy. Uh, sure. Texting stuff. <laughs> I know, just trying to ignore what's going on in the world. For, That's all right. That's for an right. hour. Um, how about Otter's Hole? Okay. Sounds good. Sorry. That's okay. I thought I was echoing through there. I was like, boo.
Sorry, my cat had something to say there in the middle. <laughs> what was the name? Otter's what? Holt. Holt? The Otter, yeah. Yeah, Holt is a place. It's like a, a beaver den, but it's for otters. Hmm. Never heard of that. A clubhouse. Yes. There you go. <laughs> uh, Fran, you're up next. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something. Every, the, so many tunes just keep swimming in my head. Um, okay, um, how about uh, Over the More to Maggie? Okay. Remember how it starts. No, I can't remember how it is. Is that it?
Yeah, that's a good one to dust off. I like that one. I'm glad we're playing them three times through. Sometimes I almost wish it could be more because I remember what Fred used to say. It takes till the third time through to get the dust out. Yeah, you know, and I almost, you know, and that's actually not one of my very favorite tunes. And I, I rarely ever start, start it. I usually just play it when somebody else starts it. But I thought, I better, I better play it three times because I just saw you settling down over at the piano, Janet. And I thought, well, I'm not going to let her just sit down so she has to get up again. Because <laughs> I, I, I hadn't, I played it for a number of years, but I hadn't figured out the chords and the C part. I've got to go look at the music again and figure out the chords to go with that. But. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mark, it's your turn. All right, we'll see how well this goes. Internet, everybody's speeding and speeding up and slowing down. It's rather uh, amusing at times. At times annoying. So we'll see how the internet works for me tonight. Um, thanks to Newfoundland, I guess. Okay. good i need to re-familiarize myself with that uh winter in vermont i haven't played that in ages that was a good tune goes with that pretty yep. well yeah it yep. does um if you put like um old doherty in the middle oh yeah right uh but yeah i play winter that winter in vermont comes into my fingers every now and then and i go gee yeah. Never play that. Got to bring I'm it back. I'm thinking of it right now, of course. Yeah. Uh, John. I have to jump off and eat dinner, so I'll see you. Okay. All right. Bye, Ashley. Bye, Ashley. Bon appetit. Thanks for joining. All right. We'll try Lark in the morning two times. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sorry. Nice tune, John. Thank you. Yeah. Sounded good. John, you have uh, original sound on on yours? Just I have it on, yeah. How's it? Didn't come through? It was coming through, but it seemed like it was cutting out. On mine, anyway, it seemed like it was cutting out a little bit, and I wondered if it was just yeah. me. Yeah, Even it says turn off original sound, so that means it's on. That's right, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I, I need a proper microphone, probably. Sweet waters in Indiana, they ship overnight. What um, is, is Sweet Waters the name of the microphone? No, I, I bought an AKG here. You know, yeah. Yeah. What? From them. Um, I figured it's, I'm in it for the duration. It costs 150 bucks, but it plugs into the USB port. Very nice. It looks like that um, computer machine in that in 2001 Space Odyssey. Oops. Whatever that. Yeah, I think so. I could be wrong. Hell? <laughs> yeah, hell. <laughs> Looks like R2-D2. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Danger Will Robinson, you know? Yeah, right. The original robot, almost. Okay, I'll, um, I'll play that set of all those, the tunes that I taught for the last three, three weeks, so... Uh, Bloom of Youth, into Malloy's favorite, and then uh, Road to Cashel. <laughs> Thank you. 
So hopefully everybody's getting the hang of those. Anybody, uh, anybody having trouble with anything in, in those tunes? We doing all right? No, I finally, you know, I used to be able to play the first and second tune, and then when I'd get to the third tune, I'd like eh, crash and burn. But finally, you it's know, coming around. Well, yeah, when when somebody teaches a tune, somehow it sticks a lot better than when I just pick at it. Try so. to figure it. Yeah, that's true for me too. Yep. Okay, uh, Tim. Tim, you're up next. Okie dokie. Um, what's that one called? Um, Wandering Minstrel. There's Bass in the Leg in her. Okay. Sounds good.
Good Very time. nice. Sounded great, Tim. Good I resolved it to the G, just so you know. <laughs> That's for Ashley and Joe, even though Ashley's gone. I went to the B. <laughs> I went an extra G, an octave above. Just... Awesome. I have to, uh, I'll see you all next week. Um, have a great okay. night. Okay. Thanks for joining, Joe. Yep. Bye. We'll see you later. Bye. And uh, Ken, looks like Kenji, Kenji was here and never got to play, and he, he disappeared. He yeah. And I've been, well, it's almost I've had some long days. Yeah. But say good night. Okay. Home. Great. Good night, Thanks. Janet. Tunes. Night. Yep. Good night, Thank Janet. Thanks for the tune. Bye bye. Well, I bye -bye. do notice I get sleepier. Uh, the time change. I'm still on the old time. <laughs> With uh been getting waking up an hour earlier going to bed an hour earlier yeah it's and there's a lot more darkness outside yeah me it too is. i'm tired early <laughs> yes yeah okay uh james we're back around to the beginning of the list uh i'll do for my lassies okay
and I'm trying to let go so much better. <clears throat> I, if I did, it was a long time ago. Yeah. I did, I used to play that. I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? No, Tim, he's oh. talking. To oh, yeah, you talked like five months ago. It wasn't that long ago. I did? I think yeah. so. I think so. Okay. I know I, I used to play it with uh, Modesty Forbids. Yeah, the group, yeah. Yeah, with... We did that as a medley with When Sick Is It Tea You Want, I think. That was ages ago. Very good. Yeah. What do I want to play? Oh, geez. Um, oh, John, it's your turn. I don't <laughs> want to take it. Or no, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm skipping over everybody. Well, what about James? He Oh, he was at the top of the list. Oh, I already right. got him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Uh, I'm thinking about something that I'm almost certainly going to mangle. All right. Join the club. Like that? Uh, Shoemaker's daughter, maybe? Ooh. Brian, you probably have to go on mute, though. Thanks. It'll be nice to play with you again, but you know, oh well. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
as promised, I mangled it. Oh, it sounded okay to me. Yeah, yeah, that sounded good. Still mangled it. Okay, now, John, it's your turn. Okay, I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about my instrument because I okay. had a little discovery this week. Um, with a banjo, you have to find out where to put the bridge because there's no, it's not fixed like a guitar. Yeah. And, and anyways, this is the third banjo I've had and it's a pretty simple procedure. You find the 12th fret and you play it and you move the bridge until you get a full octave at the 12th fret. It's that's that's how it's worked for other banjos I've had, but this one, the low string, the G, whenever I would press a fret, it would be a sharp. Like that rule worked for the first three strings, but the G string, it would be sharp. So it's like uh, it's like the bridge isn't in the right place on one out of four strings. So I um I started to look up about sloping it and I found it's actually a the thing that's done all the time I found pictures of guitars where they had the sloped bridge anyways I took my my can you see the angle on that oh yeah that's new this week I've been playing this for almost I don't know two or three years and I never had to do this but now it's it's behaving a lot better and oh. I, I found uh, explanations, people talking about the mass of the heavy string, the tension of the, the G string has something to do with it. Uh, I didn't completely understand why it, it would be so, but anyways, that's... Uh... <laughs> it's kind of it's, it's kind of weird because on violin, you know, it's, it's largely a function of string length between the stops. Yes. And it's not it that is. way for this. No, it is. We're all just string length. Um, it's the tension and and the and how you know the tones, how fat it is. And you'd think that's all it is. And then the bridge rule ought to you know at the twelfth fret ought to work uh, the same, but it doesn't. Yeah. It you'd doesn't. never see a bridge on a on a fiddle angled like that. No. But I talked to a guy, like electrical electric guitarists, and they have these these mechanical adjusters that move the bridge. Each string can be tuned to different positions. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like a machine. Oh but anyways, like fortunately, I was able to get it at one single angle, and they all now are, are you know working, working better. So, I mean, the the, the G string's working better. The banjo that that I have, the neck is is kind of warped out a little bit. Yeah. And so as I, I was going to say, is your is your neck on an angle or is, or is it perpendicular? Is it? I don't know. Because that maybe, could explain. Well, well, they all they all do a little bit of a ski jump out to the head. Yeah. A little bit, but um, yeah, that could be why this one has something. It doesn't. I can't yeah, see it being the, off. The space between the fret and the string gets wider and wider as I get down closer yeah. to the 12th fret. And then as I push it down more, it's making it more, giving it more tension. Yeah. And it's causing it to uh, be Yeah, I think, I think it's, I think it's that, that the, the low string is in higher tension. And when you press on it, it's, it's raising the tension up even more just by pressing it. And, yeah, that might be the, the yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. Let's do uh, Blarney Pilgrim. Can I tell you one other thing? You know about compensate. This is for a guitar. This is taken off one of my guitars, but it's a compensated bridge. Yeah. It has, I don't know if you can tell, that yeah. instead of just being straight across, certain strings are, they're a little bit staggered there. Yeah, I've seen that before. I'm... So, I mean, that's a, I assume banjos have that. There must be banjo bridges that do that. I don't know if you can see that. So, or yeah, they're, they are, but you're, you're, on a, you're on a journey playing with variables. You're not sure what, which is the right one to move. And 
How many yeah. bridges would I have to try? <laughs> I, I'll tell you what my go-to move is, is I just take my acoustic instruments to elderly instruments and let them figure it out. Right, right. There's so many variables. It's like, I know enough to be dangerous, Yeah. which means I'll probably get it wrong every time. Yeah. And a professional can look at it and tell what exactly is wrong with it. Right. They're good. All right. Yeah, good advice, Tim. Okay. Did that cut out less? Sounded good. Yeah. Did it cut out less than the other song? It might have been the lower notes don't cut out as much as the higher the other one was higher. Thank you. I'm gonna take off guys. Have a good weekend. See you next week. Bye James. Bye. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the uh, party as well. So, okay. Have a good night, everyone. See you next week. Good night. I'm leaving soon. Eric, you know, we can't hear you. I did not. I'm talking away over here. I was going to say, I was going to try to play the Kelmalis or maybe Grenya's, but uh, I don't know. If maybe those are too, uh, too challenging. Um, and I can't remember how the Kelmalis starts. Uh, I was just I was just playing it the other day. Um, uh, uh, okay, something else. Um, I'll look up the I'll find the Kimolas for you in a second if you want. Do you okay? That's not it.
I know it's. I think it starts on that D roll, but my mind is not. Oh yeah.
That was an interesting structure for the last piece. <laughs> uh, it was all wrong, wasn't it? Yeah. It was great because I was afraid you were going to play the fourth part. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have it mastered. So I, I was glad I when can't you can't do the fourth part. I always skip the fourth part. Yeah. That's good. It might work on some instrument. It doesn't work on a mandolin and probably not a fiddle very well, but I can yeah. do Yeah, well. I should just leave out some of it. Right. Or just don't play it. Or don't play it. Yeah. <laughs> it's one I usually opt for. But well. Okay, uh, Tim, it's your, it's your okay. go. All right, I had something in mind. Um, I heard. I heard uh, somebody play this. I learned this from Marla, but I, I think I heard you playing. This was played about a year ago at the Dima, so I'm going to play it. What? Uh, Is it the Piper's Chair, maybe? like that. Yeah, that's really a good. really nice tune. Yeah. It's a little tricky in the B part on the fiddle, but it just takes a little work. Yeah. So Biden's only down by 3,000 votes in Georgia. Oh, okay. That's good. But that's what it was when we started. Somebody mentioned it. Somebody said, yeah, somebody said that, didn't they? 50,000 in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's good. They're still... Chipping away. 5% like left to count. That's quite a bit. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, let's see. Becky, do you do you want to play anything? No. <laughs> you're good. Okay. Fran. Becky, you're really coming along on that thing. Yeah. Those are weird little weird little boxes with lots of buttons, and you're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, my brain tonight is this fried. I can't think straight right now to play anything. So. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I, I've got a. Uh, Patsy Tui's that uh, Kenji taught us and made behind the bar, I think. Patsy Tui's is a single reel. <laughs> Sorry. 
collector or is it um no that's the um uh uh Galti ranger yeah yeah you know it starts similar to maybe behind the bar except the notes are reversed and i just couldn't bring me behind the bar to mine so it's life all right i gotta go do a cat check outside i'll be right back Okay. John, I think it's your right, Let's do a lullaby to get ready for bed. Yeah. <laughs> Shawnee and Shah. Okay. And boring the leather. Very good. Very good. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Too. Thank you, Tim, for bringing that. That's the only tune tonight that I've been able to play with. Oh, no. Did anybody ever buy that album? I did. Oh, yeah. so good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Goodness. Becky, which one did you, or both, are those both tunes you play? I'm learning both, but I'm really having some trouble um, with, with, I'm having trouble with them. Both um, of them? Hmm. Um, I'm having, yeah, with both of them. I'm just, it's just not coming to me very well. And uh, my, my teacher helped me, but there's these notes that she wants me to put in for extra yeah. notes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just not getting it. Yeah. So um, I'm glad you played it tonight because it did give me some practice. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, eventually, eventually I'll be able to play it at a session. That's going to be a while. Nice. Well, I, I don't know I'm thinking about. Talking oh. about Becky, you talking about Florence? Bahi? Oh, yes. Now, she lived, she's from County Clare, but she live in Boston or something like that? Yes. She, she married an Italian guy. I think she was living in Colorado and she met somebody. She married an Italian um, guy and um, she's having a hard time now that she can't see her parents, you know, in Ireland. Oh, yeah. Mm. But um, I really like, um, she tells me all the history and all the other players that she used to um, play with and all these famous people used to come to the pubs, you know. Yeah. And she would play for them. So um, she tells me all these stories. And she told me about this one woman that was a concertina player. Just, it's a funny name. And she, it was her teacher. And she died when she was like in her 40s from lung cancer. Oh, didn't I? Yes, I just, I just set for her CD. She told me about her. I really like yeah. the style of playing. It's much slower. And I play much better when with the slow tunes yeah. but she's she's a great player so you know her do you have any of her uh yeah, albums? i've got both of her cds you because the one you can't get now oh really yeah yeah there's okay. one it's out of print so she was the family was asking for some of her notes from when she taught flow mm -hmm. and she's going to ask from some extra copies of the cds the first cds that came out they yeah. don't print them anymore i couldn't buy it Oh. Yeah, she's she was good for sure. But it's really sad. I mean, she was a beautiful lady, you know. I've been looking at the videos online of yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. A great player. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm really tired. I think I'm going to cash it in for the Yeah. Night. It's that yeah. time. This is good. Yep. Nice to see everybody. Good night. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I could see yes. you too, Tim. Hope we're all in Everybody. jubilant moods next week. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> it hopefully it was gonna go. go it's amazing how low how low key people have kept themselves this after this, you know? Yeah. 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 I went and played pool with some of my friends last night and a couple of guys are Republicans and they're talking and oh those Democrats they must be really having a great time laughing it up wherever they are <laughs> yeah 
mic now. Not... I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had to, um, yeah. Last Tuesday, I drove up to Davison to get my driver's license renewed. And I came home and I was, I was bummed out about all the Trump signs I saw on the lawns, no Biden. And it was like, oh, it's, and, you know, it's yeah, surrounded. Get along with them. Hmm? What? Have to, we're going to have to learn to get along with them. Of course, yeah. I've got some in my family. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's family's all, yeah. Yeah. You must have drove oh, wow. out by my way, John, if you went to Davison. Yeah, so I was going up that, is it 15? I'm 15, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That goes right by my house. I, I, if you have to get your license renewed, you can't until, do it in time unless you search out an office, an opening, an appointment. That's which, where I... That's where I went to Davison and not yeah. near home. I usually... Go to Clarkston, but this last time I went to Davison and I was like nobody was there. I just walked right in and got yeah. done and walked right out. It was nice. All right, good night, guys. Good night, Fran. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Yeah. Good night, Tim. Good night, good night. Becky. Bye. See y'all later. Bye. See ya.